Hi, welcome to This Week at Little Hills. I'm Melanie, and this week we're going to be looking at question 46 in the New City Catechism. And the question is, what is the Lord's Supper? And the answer that we're given in the Catechism is, Christ commanded all Christians to eat bread and to drink from the cup in thankful remembrance of him and his death. The Lord's Supper is a celebration of the presence of God in our midst, bringing us into communion with God and with one another, feeding and nourishing our souls. It also anticipates the day when we will eat and drink with Christ and his Father's kingdom. Uh, so with this question, uh, it's a very, very important topic. Um, I was a little intimidated to uh, try and tackle this one uh, this week, but but I really, it's a really important subject that we all need to devote some time and thought and prayer to. Um, uh, with the Lord's Supper, it's something that we're all commanded to do as believers. Um, Jesus had his, himself has told us to do it. Um, uh, when we take the Lord's Supper, there are kind of three different things that we can keep in mind. Uh, the first the first thing that I was looking at is we can keep in mind the past. Uh, the Lord's Supper itself, like the actual one that Jesus took with his disciples on the night before he was crucified, um, it was a Passover meal. And uh, we're probably all familiar with the Passover meal. Uh, that was to uh, a, a yearly occurrence that was kept to help the Israelites remember their deliverance from Egypt. And what that was, was uh, God had provided a way to save his people from death during that final plague in Egypt. And the way he did that, the way he chose to provide for his people, was they were to take the blood of a lamb and put it on the doorposts of their house. And then the people that night would eat unleavened bread and bitter herbs as they prepared for God to give them their deliverance to take them out of Egypt. Um, so the Lord's Supper, I mean, there are definitely some parallels there. I mean, uh, we, we can use that as a way to remember our past, um, both personally and as God's people. Um, and also we can keep our eyes on the present, uh, our own deliverance from sin. So just like God delivered the Israelites um, with, the pass with the first Passover meal, um, with the Lord's Supper, we can remember how he delivers us from our own sin. And uh, this, this was the way of instituting the new covenant with the bread and the cup. What, that was the symbolism that, that Jesus gave to us. He told us that, you know, this, this bread has been broken for you. This is my body. And, um, and that, that he will drink the wine with us again in his coming kingdom. And we'll, we'll get to that again in just a minute. Uh, but it's a very good... Uh, way also just in addition uh, that he shows us his present provision in John 6:35, it says Jesus said to them I'm the bread of life whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never thirst and uh, the the Lord's Supper also as we take it we it represents and it shows us and it helps us with the unity of believers because what do families do they they eat together they they share a meal together and even though we're imperfect, and even as the church right now, in, in this present moment, we're very imperfect, but we can still eat together. We still have unity in the body and blood of Christ that saves us from sin. Uh, and then one other thing we can look at as we take the Lord's Supper is the future. Uh, uh, Jesus himself, as he was distributing the, the, the meal with his disciples was saying that he won't drink this wine again until he drinks it anew with us and his coming kingdom. And for this, we can look to the marriage supper of the lamb. Uh, that's the, the time in the book of Revelation when the church, uh, the bride of Christ, is finally united with the bridegroom, Jesus, who has paid the price for us. And uh, at that time, the church will be perfect spotless and complete and will be brought into close and happy union with Jesus, which is what we've been been waiting for. And uh, it's very much with the wedding imagery of the meal that was taken together. Um, and that's what we can look forward to with every Lord's Supper that we take. We can look to the past and our own deliverance from sin, and we can look to the future 
uh, looking forward to the day when we can we can have we can be united with Christ once and for all. Uh, so as we are told to continue to participate in that, uh, we can be reminded of that. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope to see you at our services on Sunday evening and have a blessed week.